Hello, my name is Mary Jo Seaman, and I'm reading from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 to 8. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have, because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my herald, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Going it alone. Having been widowed twice in my lifetime, I understand all too well what it means to be lonely. Whether sitting in my home or standing in the midst of a crowd, loneliness can grip my heart like a vice that won't let go. Facing life alone can be like carrying a weight no person can release. Yet in our times of going it alone, when the aching seems endless, we have the consistent promise that Jesus is there by our side because he was forsaken by his Father for us while enduring the torments of hell on the cross we can be assured that we will never totally experience that forsaken loneliness. Trusting in his complete and total presence, we can cling to the words, as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him, these things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. Because of the Spirit's companionship, we will never be without God's presence and will understand that His love surrounds and surprises us when we face any and all challenges in this life. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you for your Spirit's presence. Because of Him, we know that we will never face life alone. Amen.